Tipperary Heritage Way and also tomorrow we are doing the Tipperary Heritage Way. Um, we forgot all our bags so mm. now we're we have like nothing in this. No, um, Ellie's mother lives near here actually on the walk so and almost exactly at the halfway point so we'll we've left all our stuff there and we're just gonna speed through this walk. Yeah. Um, it's extreme, yeah it feels like I've forgotten like everything, I don't know where my things are. Um, but yeah, it looks beautiful. Um, it's a nice day. The sunburn from uh, the Badak uh, Badak Badak Way has kind of eased off a little bit, so uh, we're ready to get sunburned again. It's a two day walk, uh, 56 kilometers. Um, starts we at the V yeah, here. Yeah, starts at the V, which is right behind us. In the Knockmill Down Mountains. Yeah, and finishes in Cashel. Our halfway point is going to be Kerr. Yeah. And it has a lovely castle, and we get to walk past the Swiss Cottage, which will also be really beautiful. And yeah. Okay, well, I guess that's... Uh, that's the start update. That's the start. So... Okay, this is Baylock. It is. It's called a bottomless lake, and apparently two rivers, like a river flows in one side, not the other, um, and you're not allowed to go swimming in it because you get sucked, sucked down into the like underground mountain rivers and never return. And I'm pretty. There's something about a witch, some folklore story that I've actually forgotten. There's a witch involved somehow. Uh, yeah. But it, it's pretty glorious. Mm -hmm. like, also, we took some really, really, really good drone footage, which we're going to show now. <laughs> <laughs> So pretty. Like. Yeah. Couldn't be nicer. Ooh. 
great. Hey. This is our fin. These are ice creams. We're halfway to care. So we're in the Ballybrado Tubbird area and the first house that I lived in Tipperary was actually just up the road. So it feels kind of funny to be casually walking down these roads that like took me to school every day. So we are at the Swiss, Swiss cottage outside of Care. We got here a little bit too late to actually go inside and see it. Yes. However, we just noticed that the route that we have on our map, mm. we reached a point um, at a junction just before Kilcommon Cross when you're walking towards Care. And El Elvis pointed, the little way marker pointed. Oh, Elvis. Hmm? We call the way marker Elvis. Just in case you haven't mentioned. Mm. Um, he pointed towards Kilcommon Cross and our map said go towards Kilcommon Cross. However, the road sign. Yeah. Is that, what it says, right? That's what our map says? Yeah. The way markers that we've seen here look as though you could have walked directly across and up. And skipped the really scary road section. Yeah, a really terrifying, bad, bad road section. The only. The only bad part so far of the trail, really. Yeah. Um, so this possibly means that it doesn't even exist and it means it's like a kilometre shorter. Um, so if you're doing this trail consider Yes. Pro consider tip. that bit. Yeah. When you see here. Hey, you, you see a sign from a my bit, yeah, my secret garden. Yeah. Go down that, that way. Means. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's a nice trail. Um a lot of it so far on road. Um but mostly quiet road and, and and if this other way mm -hmm. exists yeah like you're walking on that yeah which is 10 times better um and just it would cut out the the worst part yeah it's been good i liked it uh we're just coming into care and it's super nice and there's fairies welcoming us into care fairy trail there's a fairy trail like there's actually you can see behind me there's like a little fairy house and there's like dozens of them um, on the walk in here and just generally it's really nice, the river right there. Yeah. Um, A plus. A plus. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is stay two of the Tipperary Heritage Way. Uh, we started in Care, which is there somewhere. No, it's over there. Like there. Over there somewhere. Yeah. Uh, through those trees. Um, but we started started yesterday. Yeah. Still over that way, like back that way. In the V. We started far away, and now we're here. Um. So this is the what's this called? The wood. Hmm? The, the name of the wood. You got an insect name. Can you notice this getting lower as my arm gets more tired? You're very short. Just bad. Thank you. Great. It is lunchtime. We are a map and a bit down so we're like not quite halfway but that's all that's left yep. we're gonna eat some bananas yep it's been nice today um forest trail is good you get some height it's nice um next bit's on road but to be honest overall this has been an, a really nice walk it's not like a trail it's a stroll but it's nice um i definitely wouldn't hold that against it uh it's definitely still a really good 
time. Two days. Good way to spend two days. So it is quarter to three, which means we've spent the last hour and a half, hour and 45, walking in a straight line on roads. But look, we've just turned. <laughs> ah, a turn. Mm -hmm. Good God. The roads haven't been bad. They've been extremely quiet and small. But this so, has been yeah. over two hours of, yeah, just quiet and small, but yeah. boring. Boring. <laughs> okay. And dogs. Was I recording any of that? I think you were, yeah. Did I just... Oh. oh. Did I... Found some grass. Yay. What have we found, Master? We found an abbey. Yeah, it's very ruinous. So our goal for today had been to walk all of kind of part two, which was 33 kilometers from Care to Cashel. Um, we are, I'm gonna say we're 20 kilometers in. Yeah, about 20 kilometers in, just outside of Golden. And we've come across this incredible abbey that it's not even on the map like it's it's really beautiful um, but it's also starting to rain and it's getting late so I'm worried that we're not gonna finish the trail today but we also we can't run past this like this is too amazing to uh, to pass up um, I guess we'll just do it in three days instead Possibly. This abbey might be the best thing that we've seen on all of the trails so far. Very, um, you know. We have left Golden. Um, we decided to push on. It's only 10k from here to Cashel. The map says it takes three hours. Hopefully gonna do it in two and a half or less. Um, or the notice board in gold and said gave us the, the distances and times so 
yeah, whoops, here we go. Uh, we don't really say this enough, but thank you to all of the farmers and landowners who put the trails, or allow the trails to be put on their land. Um, I mean, we're walking through a wheat field right now, and it's just, like we're, we're walking through the wheat field, and uh, it's just very um, generous of the people who own this land to allow walkers such as ourselves to walk here. Um, so I don't think anyone ever gets appreciated for doing this, so thank you to those people. We actually totally made it. Uh, that's the wrong... You can't do yeah. ...of Cashel. And that's... Where? There? I can't see that. Yeah. yeah. That's a place called Hoare Abbey. <laughs> the car. Do you know more cars? I can't drive. Okay, again. Hoare Abbey. <laughs> anyway, um... There's Abbey. Hey! We made it! Yay! This is the Rock of Cashel and over there is the first sign for the... Yeah, is the first sign for the Heritage Way, so... That was a 50-something kilometer... 56, I think. 56, I think, kilometer away in two days. Um, and they were tired. Um, Super nice. Really good trail, really good. Um, it's definitely... So, this one's named the Tipperary Heritage Way. So it definitely just feel more like a heritage walk yeah. thing yeah. than like a trekking yeah. trail. The section from um, Golden to uh, to here is mostly field. Yeah. Um, so if you're doing it, do it when it hasn't rained for a couple of days um, and bring a stick for... Yeah, technically from Cashel to Golden is closed from the end of October until March. Yeah, the end of March. Yeah. Um, but it is really good. Uh, I would definitely recommend doing it. Um, I think I'm about to be ambushed by my sister. Oh, yeah, there she is. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, so we're now being picked up. And I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow, but I think it's the Avenue Way. Yes. Um, so I would give this trail 8.8 .8 out of 10. Maybe. 8.2 out of 10. There's a, or like a 10 and a half or 12 kilometer road section. Yeah, that was just um, a straight line. Prior to Golden, which is, you're totally looking in the distance like a weirdo. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that was just a straight line of road and I would not recommend that. Um, if you're doing it, get someone to give you a lift for those 10k because it's pretty boring until the Abbey. Um, otherwise, really good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good job. <laughs> ah, my arm. <laughs> Oh, yeah, thanks. Thank <laughs> okay. Perfect timing. Yeah, good timing. We literally just got here. Yeah, we I'm saw you. We saw you walking across. <laughs> oh, sorry for being late. Oh, it's yeah. fine. You're not late. Yeah. Uh, it's actually, I'm quite surprised we managed it in time. What do you mean? Oh, like we got to go.